This Saturday will mark the five-year anniversary of the Live at the Market event in Minneapolis, raising awareness and funds for men's depression. We're happy to have Lori Gardner and Mark Meyer with the Face It Foundation with us this morning. And Lori, we're looking there at a picture of your brother, Eric. And this is why this event started, right? Yep, that is correct. Yes, uh, sadly, lost my brother to his um, uh, battle with depression and um, anxiety back in 2010. And uh, um, that same uh, summer, uh, a friend, Chris Miles, and I got together and just really wanted to put on something uh, to commemorate Eric. And uh, Eric was actually, he was a graphic designer, but was also a, um, made a bit of a name for himself in the late 90s as a stand-up comic around mm -hmm. the Twin Cities. His, his stage name was Eric Page. Um, and so essentially we wanted to um, uh, put together an event that was all about everything Eric loved, which would be comedy, live music, and of course, great food. So, you <laughs> so yeah. You think of in five years, mm -hmm. we're starting to talk about depression and yeah. specifically men's depression, but it's still so hard for people to say, hey, I'm depressed or I need help or I need resources. Yeah. Um, where have you guys come from and where do you mm -hmm. still need to go? Good question for Mark. Well, uh, at, at the Face It Foundation, which is the organization that benefits from this, we've been able to get guys to start coming forward. And yeah. we're here in Minneapolis, and, and guys are starting to step forward. And, and we've seen that growth in our groups and our retreats and our activities. So hopefully with you know, continued conversations, we'll get men to, to continue to Lori, do you, do you think some of it is with, with men and even with your brother? Was he afraid to talk about it? Was there kind of a macho type thing where men feel like they can't admit that they're having depression? Absolutely, and, and I just think you know, even, even as close as we were, we were two years apart, and um, it was just it, something that I think he was very uncomfortable to, sure. to talk about, talk through. Um, and I know that um, a, a group like Face It would have really meant mm -hmm. the world to him. And for you, probably the idea of suicide mm -hmm. was not something as a sibling that entered your mind, mm -hmm. that the depression was that severe. Absolutely, yes, yeah. And that's common, right? Mm -hmm. Absolutely. I think people hide it. They don't show people. They don't, they don't let on to how, you know, how deeply they're hurting. And, and we don't really understand suicide. We don't talk about it enough. There's, there's 40,000 suicides in the United States every year. And, yeah. and of those 40,000, 32,000 are men. Wow. wow. Well, you guys kind of met in an interesting way. This tragedy kind of brought the two of you together, but you've reached $75,000. You want to get to $100,000 in this fifth year. Mm -hmm. So people need to help you guys out. And they can do that at this event, Alive at the Market, this Saturday in Minneapolis at the Farmer's Market Annex. It's going from 4 to 10 p.m. Tickets, as you see on your screen, are $40, but you get so much. You get the live music, comedy, all that Lori was talking about. If you'd like some more information on the event itself, just head to WCCO.com slash links. Thank you guys for being here, thank and thank you. you for really telling the story and raising awareness. Absolutely. It's so important. Thanks for having Thank us. you.